guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to review another Safari Limited dinosaur and it is my personal favorite, as I'm sure it was a lot of people's, from their 2017 lineup and it is this guy. This is their Tyrannosaurus and not just any Tyrannosaurus but it is their feathered Tyrannosaurus and my god is it a work of art. It is incredible. Without question, it was easily, in my opinion, the best figure that they had released in 2017. And not just in 2017, honestly I feel like it's the best figure that they have released in years. It is that darn nice. Absolutely beautiful. Everything about it. I cannot get enough of this model. I really can't. So let's get a closer look and you can see for yourself. You can see looking up here at the head, the sculpt work all over the head is absolutely incredible. So much detail gone into the scales up here on the face and then the, the nice little scars and wounds just making it give it this very very rough appearance as if it's been through quite a few battles recently as I'm sure a Tyrannosaurus probably would have been. The eye is a nice yellow color with a black pupil and looks fantastic. You can see that the inside of the mouth is colored beautifully and sculpted absolutely wonderfully. It looks fantastic. The teeth are sculpted individually and look great as well. They've done a pretty good job on those. There's a little, a few instances here where the teeth kind of get meshed together, like right here in the front, that, uh, you know, make, maybe could have looked a little better. But overall, I feel like it does look really nice. And if you take a step back, you won't even notice it at all. One thing to note is that they did try to put a little bit of different tones here in the teeth, especially down here on the bottom. You can see a little bit of a brownish color as they get closer to the gums. To just give that a little bit of extra realism, and that was a beautiful touch on Safari's part. You can see on this side as well, he's got some more wounds from his recent battles. So beautiful job including those. I always love to see that kind of thing. Again, something that a little bit of gloss could probably make this thing look absolutely amazing, just specifically with these wounds, which I'm going to have a hard time debating whether or not I should do that myself. Going back here onto the head, you can see that these feathers are sculpted insanely well. They truly are. They are just sticking up off of the head giving him such a cool appearance. They are like a black color, but then they have this light red dry brushing over it that really brings them to life, makes them look very, very cool, and makes the whole head have such a striking appearance. And then you have these little red bumps that run the length of the head here that look very, very cool as well and just mesh so, to, so well together with these feathers. The whole appearance and the color scheme of this is absolutely fantastic. Looking down here at the back, lots and lots and lots of feathers all over the place kind of similar to like an emu or an ostrich type feathers in my opinion where they just kind of lay all over the body it gives it a very cool appearance and it makes him look like he's probably nice and warm and the little t-rex arms which there's not too much to see or do with those they're nice and small covered in feathers as well nice black claws they look like they're sculpted pretty well and then you can see down here the gigantic hip bone here and then it comes down to the legs beautiful muscle tone all over the place and again these feathers are sculpted out very nicely all over the place and then you get down to these feet and I feel like these feet may be one of my favorite parts of this because man they look so good so many nice little tones put into this and it's such a realistic in my opinion color scheme for the feet it looks very very bird like and the claws look very good as well they actually have a little bit of a gloss on them but it does look very good and really helps to make the feet look more realistic you can see same deal on both sides absolutely beautiful job done on the feet alone and then going back here to the tail you can see some more of this really really big feathering that goes down and the tail is actually very thick you can just see how thick that is this really gives me the feeling that this is just one gigantic bull t-rex and he is just covered in beautiful feathering so it makes him look very very majestic but yet at the same time kind of a big tough guy see the underside has a little opening here where you get to see a little bit of the scaling as opposed to the feathers so that was very cool to give him this, this underside with the skin and then you can actually see the Safari logo and all this stuff here. So it looks very, very good on the underside. Again, a beautiful, realistic color scheme. Absolutely wonderful done there as well. The overall color scheme of the whole dinosaur, I feel like, is very nicely done. I do love the reddish color all over with this nice black back that kind of draws these lines down. And it looks very, very good. The like nice white color here on the underside of the feathers. And if you take a step back, it just looks and meshes together all so well. And then this beautiful yellow color with some more white here in the chest. All over the place, nice different tones put into it. Gives it such a beautiful, realistic look. This Tyrannosaurus really is 
probably the best feathered T-Rex that I've ever seen. Now one thing to note that I can say about this T-Rex is that he doesn't balance too super well on his feet, or at least mine doesn't. I mean this, uh, this spot is pretty off level so there we go, I got him to balance just because it's off level. But on a level surface, he usually doesn't balance out that well for me, he does kind of fall over a lot. But it's not the end of the world as far as this guy goes because his beauty alone just makes up for it. It is so stinking nice. I can't even begin to describe to you guys just how beautiful this T-Rex is until you actually go and purchase one. It is absolutely fantastic. Safari did such a good job on this. They really outdid themselves. And this is probably, like I said just before, the nicest feathered T-Rex that I've ever seen. It is so stinking beautiful. As far as the size goes, you're looking at almost a foot long and the height a little under six inches so he's definitely a good size he's a pretty big t-rex and i believe he is probably around the twenty dollar range maybe a dollar or two more so he's not super expensive but as far as safari figures go he is definitely one of the pricier ones but trust me when i tell you it is definitely worth it Definitely buy him if you have any interest whatsoever in dinosaurs because this is probably one of the best Tyrannosaurs as far as feathering goes that you'll ever see. If you want yourself a nice feathered T-Rex, this Safari version is definitely the way to go because as I said, he looks fantastic. So I will link you guys in the description as to where you can purchase this guy. And please like, comment, and subscribe please. And I will see you guys in the next review. Thanks for watching.